What is up you guys, Matt from Our Process, and guys, today I want to talk a little bit about Black Friday, how this whole online world is really taking over um, so much of our life and stuff, and so basically I want to tell you guys a little bit of a story, uh, basically I want to tell you guys a story, yesterday was Black Friday, if you didn't know that, and hopefully you guys were safe, and you guys uh, stood safe, and you guys had fun on Black Friday and stuff, but yesterday was Bla yesterday was Black Friday, so I was going to go out with my friends and um, go buy some stuff, or go pick up some stuff up, or whatever, um, and I was going to go tell my parents bye, and stuff like that, so then I go, and I tell my parents bye in, her, in their room, and I see that they have the TV on, um, and it's the news, right, so I, I was, I was like, I, I listened in for a little bit, and I was like, uh, this year's, and on the news, it was like, yeah, this year's Black Friday shopping, lowest, um, sales, um, uh, in years, and stuff like that, and it was like, I was like, really interested in it, I was like, wow, like, um, like, there's really not that many people, um, go, there's, there is a ton of people, but there's not as many people going to, um, these big stores to buy Black Friday, or get these, the, to get these, like, you know, really, really big sales, um, and they were, like, talking about how, like, Cyber Monday was, like, attracting so many, and so many, and so many different people, um, who usually go Black Friday shopping, now they're switching over to, um, to Cyber Monday shopping and stuff like that. So I, I don't know if you guys know, Black Friday shopping is basically a day where it's, it's a huge sale all across the U.S. Uh, and a bunch of different businesses and stuff like you know like Walmart and Best Buy and Target and like all these big stores. There's a huge sale on a bunch of different products and stuff like TVs, the technology, and you know and, and just anything that you need really. And then you know Cyber Monday is basically just the online version of that. So like stuff on eBay, on Amazon, and maybe some like uh, you know online sales for Walmart and Best Buy and but on everything online Cyber Monday. So um you know so they were talking about Cyber Monday and stuff like that um on the and how it's like really taking over um Black Friday and stuff like that and, and there's really not that many people going to Black Friday shopping anymore. And it was really interesting and my mom was like, "Wow, it's really interesting how um you know uh, like there's not like there's not as many people going to Black Friday anymore and there's more people going to Cyber Monday and I was like yeah that's like that's the world that we live in right now like like this whole online world the internet is just taking over our society and it's truly amazing you know what I'm saying and, and you know people and so people like and you you just have to adapt like even the pe big people are starting to realize that you know instead of go instead of instead of you know taking a t one to two hours out of your day to go drive to a store go through it all like go through all the products and pick which one you like and stuff like that and then drive all the way back and make that a two-hour trip just for one product you can go online on amazon for five minutes and pick something out and then order it and, and that'll be a five-minute process people are finally realizing this people are finally realizing that their time is actually valuable and this is and this is like the reason why and that's the exact reason why you see that not a lot of people went black friday shopping and a ton of people are gonna are, are currently going cyber Monday. Monday shopping and stuff um, for this whole weekend sale on online is because they just don't have the time to go out and sit in these long lines and to go and find a sale, go and find this one product that they need um, that, that may or may not have a really big sale on it at you know this one store that's 30 minutes away from their house. It's not practical anymore. Like and, and you know maybe maybe 10, 15 years ago it was practical when you know people did have time to be able to do these things. But since we're in this new world. Is people don't have time when when this busy world like people are constantly like they just don't have any more time to go to a store anymore, and you know and this and I think this might have been a wake up call for a lot of people that Black Friday is just not it's not as big as it used to be and it's, and it's interesting I think about like even if Black Friday you know three four five years from now. Is it, is it even going to be a thing anymore? Like, is there even going to be a Black Friday anymore? Because people, like, you know, and then, and then like, that, then that starts, to, and then you start to think of, like, you know, will retail, like, wh like what about this whole world of retail? Like, how is it going to survive? Um, like, it's funny to think about, like, how your, your local, like, you know, your local store that you go to, you know, a ton, like, maybe once a week or maybe at once every other week may, may not even be there in three or four years, and it may just completely be an online business, you know what I'm saying? Like it's crazy to think about these this whole world and stuff like that. Like and something interesting is like, you know, uh, it's funny. Like you know, maybe there's three, four, or five years Black Friday dies. Cyber Monday becomes the new Black Friday. Like Cyber Monday becomes as big as Black Friday is, and then 10, 15 years from then. Um, like there's this new like virtual reality world where you're buying your virtual world like there's a sale on your virtual reality world it, It's so interesting to think about like, you know, it may be like it may be like virtual reality Wednesday like whatever It's funny to think about like the house 
whole world could like possibly just change and like people still don't think that you know inter the internet is the next big thing and stuff like that when in reality like we literally see it right now with black friday not as many people are going to go not as many people are going to go not as many people are going on black friday to go get those big massive sales even when there's these huge sales people are still not going because they don't see the value in it they see as much value in going into a store and buying a product and stuff as doing it online but it's saving them so much more time and that's the only thing that matters right now in this age right now is time and this is the next big thing and i think this is really this is going to be this is going to be really funny to play out how this works out and how people really react to this whole new change of Black Friday and stuff, and I'm interested. I'm interested to see, like, you know, two, three years from now, how Black Friday turns out. You know, will it still be a thing? Like, will will Cyber Monday take over and stuff like that? And it's just so interesting to think about. So, um, you know, this is interesting. If you have an own, your own business right now, like, how can you adapt to your? How can you adapt to the internet? How can you adapt and go out online? How can you make an e-commerce store? Like, you know, what I'm saying, like, how can you make your business into an e-commerce store? How can you make your business? Um, you know, into something that's 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 compatible with the way people's minds work right now. You know, what I'm saying people don't people don't want to waste their time, so don't waste their time. You know, what I'm saying why like why make someone have to go 30 minutes away to try and buy a product when they can easily just go online on Amazon and buy that exact same product um, with the exact same sale on it since it's Cyber Monday, but just saving them time. You know, what I'm saying. So it's just really, you really, really have to think about this whole new world that's coming in um, and, and even translate it for, you know, three, four years ago when the next big thing happens, whether it's virtual reality or wh whatever it is, whether it's, or whether it's still the internet. Like, what about when that next big thing happens? How are you going to adapt to it? How are you going to change your business? Um, and how are you going to really think about the end consumer? How are you going to think about the customer when doing these things? Because, um, you know, and I think a lot of these businesses right now, they think, that um, a lot of these businesses like just be they think it's they they stick with you know going out and they they stick with keeping their retail store and nothing else and you know doing radio ads and newspaper ads because that's what they know best and that's what they think is the best and that's what they think is gonna work when in actuality like if they actually listen to their cons if they actually listen to their consumers they listen to their customers that they find out that you know almost almost every single one of their customers is on Facebook right now but, like people just don't want to adapt because. Um, and that and that's the theme throughout history, right? Like people just don't like to adapt, and if you do adapt, you're criticized for it and stuff like that. Um, and in the long run, if when you do adapt, it actually helps your business more than if you didn't adapt. So, um, I mean, like whatever is coming up next, like and and this is like not this is for now, but this is also for whatever is coming up next. Like if you're not doing Facebook ads right now, if you if your business is not um, if you're spending your advertisements on anything that's not social media or not influencers, like you're wasting your money right now. And maybe there's something new in t in, in five years, three years, two years. Like, how are you gonna adapt to that? Like, how how are you gonna change your mindset and think about the customer? You know, so just whatever it is, guys, just always be adapting to your um, environment and look at this and take this Black Friday situation and how and how and how much of a failure it was this year and really put it into your business, put it into your life, and really think about how important adapting is and how and how it can really, really affect your business. So I want each and every one of you guys to have an amazing day. Keep moving forward and keep adapting. Love you guys. Have an awesome day. Bye.